All right, I owe everybody an update on the go-kart project. I'm making a little bit of progress, just about to mount the engine on it. Um, so let me show you what I've been doing. All right, here in the last video I had the uh, mounts for the jack shaft. So I've got those tacked into place. I've got the other side tacked into place, and here's my pulley. I've got my belt installed between here and the hydraulic pump down there and I welded in these four tabs here to mount my engine plate sit on top like that and let's see and the the uh, chain is going to go down this slot down to my jack shaft down there. I need to move this sprocket over a little bit to line up with the engine, but everything's going along fine. Um, looks like I might have welded that bracket a little bit too close. Ah, I can cut that off and re-weld it or just move this plate over a little bit. It shouldn't matter. Um, but anyway, just wanted to give you a little progress report. So uh, next time you see this, it'll have the engine on it, and hopefully it'll be running. Later. Well, I got on a roll and got the engine mounted, got the engine plate mounted, got the gas tank mounted. So uh, let me show you that. All right, so here's the engine. The uh, sprocket's got clearance to go down the chains got clearance to go down to the pulley down below which I need to move over. I uh, took a piece of uh, two pieces of straight steel stock like this two and a half inches long cut two pieces and then welded them together because I didn't have the right angle iron uh, depth that I needed so I welded them together Put two bolts through the head there, two bolts here to hold the tank on. It's pretty strong. I need to cut this line a little bit shorter, but um, I think it's about ready to start it up. Next thing I'll work on is mounting the seat. It's a mess in there right now, but I've got some ideas for that. Hopefully that won't take too long and should be just about done. Ready for a test drive. So. Give you another video a little later.